Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to start leveling my frets. Um, this is the sanding block that I got. This is a piece of Corian. This thing is absolutely perfectly flat. I know I checked it on the bench of a table saw, laid it on there and made sure it is absolutely perfectly flat. It's a scrap that I got from work. Um, and then I got some sandpaper that I've had for a long time already. Uh, from when I used to work on knives, actually, is how long I've had this. This is 320 grit. Um, and so what we're going to do with this is we're going to take this and we're going to go not this way. We're going to go this way because the frets are radius. So if you don't have it perfectly parallel, um, what will happen is if you're like this on there, you will you'll mess up the whole works because if you have a radius and you're sending it with a flat, it just, uh, it doesn't work. Um, you can buy radius, um, radius blocks, or you can buy flat blocks. They make all kinds of different kinds of blocks. You make, they make blocks that you can use with your string still on. They're like an I-beam. Um, but I just figured, well, I'm going to try this and see how it works. I think it's going to work just fine. Like I said, um, because of the way the radius is on here and everything, uh, I'm not going to invest in a radius block. I'm just going to use flat. I see it done all the time, but you just want to make sure that you're going side to side. And you're not going to want to, like, put a whole bunch of pressure on the very first time you're doing this. And just work your way down. And watch that Sharpie pen on there. And it should disappear slowly but surely and then when I get done with that I'm going to move on to sharpening sharpening I'm sorry polishing my frets and already on these ones I can see that it is working there's still a low spot right there I guess it would be considered so got lows and highs these frets after doing this man it really shows how messed up your frets are. <laughs> that is for sure. Look at that one. It's way low. And so, and because if you watch my other videos and you'll see that I made sure that this neck is nice and straight before I even started, this should turn out really good. And I'm not really putting any pressure on here. I'm just guiding the block and letting the sandpaper do the work. You'll hear that a lot when you watch other luthiers on here, is they say that a lot. Let the sandpaper do the work. That's what I'm doing. And yeah, it's getting there. This is obviously gonna take a little bit of time. I'm gonna try not to work one spot too long, keep it moving. It's showing me a lot. Wow. I can't believe how low some of these frets are. Or how high, I guess, would be more the term. I want to try to make sure I keep parallel to the side of the neck. And just keep working it. And just because one section looks done doesn't mean you don't, you just stop and work on the sections that aren't level yet because what you're going to do is you're going to leave those spots high. So you got to kind of hit everybody the same. I guess the smart thing to do would be to be counting my strokes. And probably what I'm most surprised about is how low that 
fret right there is like it's just now starting to touch it and as you can see on here it's not taking off like there's hardly any metal getting left behind there's a lot of black sharpie but it's not really taking a whole lot off Yep, yep, yep. Just keep going along. And then we'll recrown them. And then we'll start polishing. Well, I'll check them with my fret rocker again before I start recrowning. Anyway, I want to see something here. Uh, let's see. Yep, still showing that as high right there, which actually isn't this fret being high, it's this fret being low. Everything else is looking pretty good. Yeah, really good. Just this one little area down here where this fret's low. But we want them all the same. The other reason you don't want to press too hard is you don't want to bow your neck while you're doing this. That would just lead to bad, bad. Anyway, I think you guys get the general idea. I'm going to keep doing this. And I'll get back with you when I am ready to start grounding, and that'll be the next video. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. And like I said before, if you're not, uh, get your family together, turn off TV, and get outdoors. Toad sticker out.